Hey there, Big Ticket Sales Machine members. After recently sharing that I had pretty good success with creating high conversion opt-in pages, some of you expressed interest in seeing those pages, so I thought I would create this short video and walk you through some of the things that you might want to um, use in your own business to uh, increase the effectiveness of your list building efforts. All right, so uh, I call it my list building case study, creating killer lead, lead magnets and highly converting opt-in pages. Now that's a lesson in itself, always give things names. So look, um, this is the study that I, a, a, a test that I just started running actually a day ago and it's not having quite yet the number of actions that I would like to have. It needs to have at least a hundred actions per test that I'm, or per area that I'm testing in order for me to uh, determine the test valid. But nevertheless, at this point, if you look at the results on the bottom, conversions, 45% for the original version, 61 uh, conversions for the second version. So we're inching our way there, and I think in another day we'll be right there to declare a winner. Still, if you look in the last line, the conversion of my variation one is 89.71%. It outperforms the original by over 31%. And the probability that it's going to outperform the original is nearly 100%. So bottom line is I have a winner that outperforms previous page by nearly uh, 32%. So that's pretty cool. Now that's not one off. Let me show you some quick uh, results here. What you're looking at is just snippets of uh, reports and uh, on the left hand side you have a name of the of, of, of the goodie that we give away on the right hand side you see a percentage conversion number of people that opted in and the number of people that were exposed to it so what we're really looking at is percentages what what's what con concerns us the most now this is from the last about uh, four to eight weeks of effort so uh, fairly recent results as of the time of recording it. So again, you're looking at uh, 56, 63, 64, 84, 55, 66, 80 percent conversions. So you see that we keep inching in my book. Anything that's less than mid 50 percent uh, needs to be definitely reworked and tweaked. It's not high enough. I know we can do better. And I'm going to now give you some clues as to what to do. So once again, look at this last one. When you think we hit 80, we think we're done. Well, we just hit 89 and keep pushing it, right? So the first lesson for you is repurpose content. Uh, content. You must create quick lead magnets or bribes or goodies, whatever you want to call it. And here's a quick lesson. In Big Ticket Sales Machine, you may remember from Module 3, if you have gotten to Module 3 already, one of the lessons in there is how to craft titles that sell. Well, we just took that little chunk and create, turn it into a standalone little report that we now give away. It's called Craft Titles That Sell. And we simply, the two formats of creating sexy names, we just give them away in sta standalone templates. Okay. Now, as a result, we've got a 55% conversion on a page. And I want to come back to that lesson a little later because there's a, another part to it that's very important. Second thing you want to do, once you start repurposing your content, and I just showed you one quick example. We've got literally dozens of examples where I create a teleseminar, a webinar, a speech, a presentation, and we take one chunk of it, one little sliver, and we turn it into a lead magnet that can be given away to generate leads. So repurposing design, we noticed that my webinars were getting good conversions, good signups. And this is the bottom part of it, just so you can see the full page. But I also noticed that I had a uh, report for list building that was only getting, and I don't have the old page, but that was only getting like 30% conversion. So what I did, I repurposed the webinar signup page. Let me go back. This is a webinar signup page. And we simply took the dates out and we took the timer out. And in a particular example, I'm showing you the color scheme has changed a little bit. But look what happened. We are now using this instead of signing people for a webinar for static giveaway for a tutorial on building a list. 
Now, as a result, before we were getting about 30% conversion, afterwards, 63% conversion on that page. Now, that's a pretty good lift. Again, I don't have the original page and stats, but I remember it was somewhere in low 30s, so we pretty much doubled the conversion here. All right, very cool result from just design tweak. Next thing, still on repurposing design, we started giving away a this nice little blueprint and we used this kind of design and it was doing all right, but I wanted to see if we can do better. So we accidentally stumbled upon this design. And by the way, all of these opt-in pages were created with leadpages.net, so you can easily go and use the very same tools, very same formats. We stumbled upon this design, which was getting us uh, in high 60s and low 70s opt-ins. And I thought, you know, why don't we take the original design, the same report, we just create a dip, better cover for it and create a different format. And look what happened. Before it was getting 64% conversion, which was already pretty high. Afterwards, it was getting, it's getting right now 84% conversion which is tw nearly 24%, nearly a quarter, uh, nearly one-fourth improvement. Now, that is very cool. When you're driving paid traffic, everything matters. It's a really cool result, really cool conversion, okay? Now, the next test is titles and offers. So right now, we have this, uh, we have a, a format that works, but what if you change the title? So this is still the old format that we have recently changed, but I want to show you this. We were using this report called titles, Craft Titles That Sell, and it was doing all right. But then we decided, you know what, why don't we give people a different offer? And this was a webinar blueprint, and the result, the previous one was converting only at 55%. The new offer was converting at 64%. So obviously, that is a winning offer when we drive paid traffic. So test names of reports test the offers because you'll find that uh, some reports are more attractive to your audience than others. Finally, test your format of your opt-in pages. Once you find a winning design, see if little tweaks will make a difference. And this is the slide I opened with. Look, we have this very well-performing page. It performs at 60 plus, nearly 70, up to 80%. It's doing really well. And I thought, can we improve it? And again, accidentally, I created different colors and I ran an A-B split test and I almost didn't do it because when I first looked at this yellow kind design compared to the previous one, I thought that it wasn't nearly as attractive, that it was kind of distracting with the yellow colors. And in the previous version, the red opt-in button, the click me, really stood out. In this version, the cover got a little bit too much attention. Well, what do you know? The results are in and 89, nearly 90% conversion at peaks. It actually started converting at over 90%. Again, nearly 32% lift. So cool, cool results from just a little change of color on the cover. So six quick lessons for you to summarize. Number one, repurpose your content to create lead magnets. Number two, repurpose opt-in page design. So you can find, once you find a winning design, repurpose it for different type of uh, opt-in strategies, whether it's a webinar, teleseminar, download report. Test your titles and offers. Tweak the format. Once you find the first three things are in and you still want to see if you can improve things, again, change the colors. Move things from left to right and see if that makes any difference. And two more lessons for you. When you create your giveaway, your lead magnets, do something that addresses one small issue for your audience, fixes one small problem. That's really kind of what you want to, one of the best giveaways, something that people can take and basically in a few minutes to maybe an hour at the most, get a grasp what you're teaching them. If you're doing something that's, you know, hundreds of pages and hours and hours, people just won't even consume it and it does you, doesn't do you any good. And finally, one of the keys to my high conversion isn't so much the design, but it's what I call congruency. And congruency is the natural same feel of what leads people to come to the landing page 
and then finding the same kind of feel and look and flow on the opt-in page and also the congruency of the topic so for example when I teach on attracting high-end clients giving people a report on list building is a poor match not much congruency there but when I teach on attracting high-end clients and I would give people something like a webinar cash machine which we use nearly exclusively to bring high-end clients it's a pretty good match or even better match which we now created is a high-end coaching uh, model startup kit again very congruent with the lessons that I am teaching so there you have it a few quick examples case studies and six list building lessons to improve your own list building lead generation methods for attracting high-end clients hopefully this is this is helping you I would love to hear some comments what what are your ahas and how will you improve your own list building efforts as a result of watching this quick little case study thanks a lot take care cheers